Moment survivors of Fireball Florida plane crash that left two dead escape burning wreck as chilling audio revealed. Horrifying footage captured the moment three survivors fled the burning wreckage of a private jet that crashed into a Florida highway, killing two. Crew members Sydney and Bossmans, 27, and passengers Aaron Baker, 35, and Audra Green, 23, were seen narrowly escaping the inferno on Friday. The plane crashed onto Interstate 75 near Collier County, about 46 miles southeast of Naples, when the pilot attempted to make an emergency landing. Pilot Edward Daniel Murphy, 50, and co-pilot Ian Frederick Hoffman, 65, were killed when the jet's engines failed and it plummeted into the road, exploding on impact. The heart-stopping video was caught by passing motorist Kyle Cavalier just moments after the crash and showed the plane engulfed in flames and leaking heavy black plumes of smoke. Three people can be seen sprinting away from the fiery mess. Is there anybody else in there? Cavalier shouts as he runs over to help. Yes, yes our pilots, a woman screams back. Asked if the pilots were alive, the frantic woman replied, I don't know. I don't know much else. Five people were on board the jet when it crashed and the three survivors were taken to hospital but their conditions are unknown. Harrowing audio of the final moments just before the disaster has been revealed. Hoppe Jet 823, lost both engines, emergency, one of the pilots can be heard calmly telling an airport controller. I'm making an emergency landing. We're clear to land but we're not going to make the runway. We've lost both engines. The audio then went deadly silent. The Bombardier Challenger 600 crashed at around 3.15 p.m. just two hours after it took off from an airport at Ohio State University in Columbus. It was trying to land at the nearby Naples airport when it lost both engines, authorities said. Witnesses said it was attempting to land on the I-75 highway but its wing clipped a car and dragged it before slamming into the wall, leading to the deadly explosion. Brianna Walker, 26, described the horror of seeing the plane drag the car in front of hers. It's seconds that separated us from the car in front of us, she said. The wing pulverized this one car the plane was over our heads by inches. It took a hard right and skidded across the highway. The witness said there was a burst of flames from the plane followed by a large boom. It feels unreal like a movie, she added. It was seconds between us dying. An investigation into the cause of the crash is ongoing. The National Transportation Safety Board has asked the public to supply videos of the jet before it crashed to help determine the cause. The devastated family of co-pilot Hoffman have called him a hero. His last moments, calmly speaking with ATC as he tried to save the passengers and crew in the face of a desperate emergency of losing both engines at low altitude, is how we will always remember him. The family told Fox 4 in a statement. We know our father died a hero doing his best to save everyone he could on the plane. We ask for prayers during this difficult time.